Today you'll be learning how to make this pyramid out of wax. It's a relatively simple process in the lathe, so let's get started. Here's the drawing you'll be using. As you can see, there are four tiers that are a quarter inch tall, and a one inch base is 900 thousandths tall. First, we'll be focusing on the top tier. It'll be 80 thousandths in diameter and 250 in height. The first step is creating a flat surface to work from. Move the tool to the center of your part, then move left until you've removed most of the rounded end. Then move the tool out to surface the part and reset your z-axis. Now we're going to use a series of rough cuts to remove the majority of the excess material. Moving in roughly a quarter inch with each cut, move the tool to the left. Be sure to stop before reaching the full 250 thousandths. Between 230 and 240 is ideal. After your last rough cut, move the tool to the right and reset your x-axis. Turn the machine off. Measure your diameter with calipers. In this case, it's 0.198. Subtract your target diameter to calculate how much further you need to cut. Move the tool in to the calculated point, turn the machine on, then move left the full 250 thousandths since this is your final cut. Move the tool out to surface the part and reset the z-axis. The first tier is now complete, so let's move on to the second. As you can see, it's 320 thousandths in the diameter and also 250 in height. We will again be using rough cuts to get close to the right size, stopping each time between 230 and 240 thousandths in the z-direction. This tier is larger in diameter, so we won't need as many rough cuts. After your final rough cut, move the tool to the right, reset the x-axis, and measure the part with your calipers. In this case, it's 0.471. Subtract your target diameter to calculate how much more needs to be removed. Move the tool in that amount, Turn the machine on, then cut the full 250 thousandths to the left. Move the tool out to surface the part, reset the z-axis to finish the tier. The rest of the smaller tiers follow the same steps, so let's move on to the base. As you can see, it's a full inch in diameter. The drawing calls for a height of 900 thousandths, but we're going to cut 1.2 in the z-direction to give us enough room to cut it off at the end. The rod is roughly 1.1 inches in diameter, so for our rough cut, we only want to take off enough to make it round. When you're done with your rough cut, move the tool to the right, reset the x-axis, and take a measurement with your calipers. In this case, 1.057. Subtract your target diameter, and that'll tell you how much further to go. Move the tool in that amount, then move 1.2 inches to the left. If the excess wax happens to wrap around your part, it won't damage anything, but it can be a little distracting. Feel free to stop the part, pull off the excess wax, and start again.
We now need to change tools. The part has been removed for this video only. Move the release lever counterclockwise, then lift the tool holder off. Measure the thickness of the cutting blade for use later, then place it on the machine and lock the release lever. The tool needs to be moved so it's perpendicular to the part. Loosen the nut on top, then move the tool so it's square. Each machine is a little different, so the instructor will provide specific instructions. When done, tighten the top nut. Since we've changed tools, we lost our zero points in both axes. To re-establish our Z-coordinate system, touch the last shoulder created with the left side of the tool and reset your Z-axis. The left side of our tool is now zeroed, however we're cutting with the right side of our tool, so we need to add the thickness of the blade to our 900,000th dimension. In this case, 0.1 inches is our thickness, giving us an even 1 inch in the Z-direction. Turn the machine on and use your left hand to move the tool on the x-axis while you catch the part with your right hand. With any luck, your part looks like this. Write your initials on the bottom as well as your section number and turn it in the appropriate place. Thank you for watching.